Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel you must have used api in some way or other in your life without realizing it so let's have a look at today's agenda so you will know what to expect from this video we'll cover what's an api in plain english with some examples we'll learn what's an api endpoint and finally we'll see some api functionalities now you know the pattern if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update every time i upload a video so with that being said let's quickly dive right into the video what's an api API stands for Application Programming Interface. The Wikipedia definition reads an API is a connection between computers or between computer programs. It's a type of software interface offering service to other pieces of software. In layman terms, API is a messenger. Now let's understand this with a very famous non-programming example. Say you visit a restaurant. The waiter presents you with a menu card. You decide what you want to eat. it could be pizza pasta or fries the waiter takes down your order and then shares it with the chef once your food is ready he delivers the meal right to you this is a very simple process you do not have to worry about how the food will be prepared or any other thing that takes place inside the kitchen for that matter here the waiter acts as an api he is the link which establishes connectivity between you and the kitchen API can be categorized into various parts which we will cover in the upcoming video. Now let's have a look at a real world example. Whenever you create a new account on an application, you get an option to sign up with Facebook or Google. Ever wondered how that works? Well, Facebook and Google already have your inputs. So instead of performing the tedious task of capturing every user's information and verifying the credentials, the app access their database through an API to verify your credentials. Another very famous example is a weather app. If you want to build one, you cannot physically go and capture the readings from all over the world. Instead, you can use a third-party API to fetch the weather details. Now what is an API endpoint? API sets the rule for communication. In case of the restaurant example, you do not need to know the food recipe or anything that goes inside the kitchen. You interact with the waiter and he establishes the connectivity between you and the kitchen. So, in this scenario, the waiter is your API endpoint. Well, this also opens door to security theft. So for the very reason API uses API keys to add a protection layer an API key is used for identification and authorization which is nothing but a security code used to keep a track of the users being said that not every API has a key in order to communicate with systems there are certain protocols which are supposed to be followed while using an API endpoint APIs also have a documentation for the same Now I hope you understand what an API does. Let's have a look some of the basic API functionalities. So API establishes connection between computer systems and enables data accessibility. It allows monitoring users and their activity in a controlled manner. It increases security by adding an extra protection layers using keys. and it hides complexity by eliminating the how factor as you do not need to worry about what goes on in the back end now that you know what api is you can start to use it to make simple projects and that's all for this video folks if you're more interested in reading or want documented notes of my video you can find it at my blogging website go check out my latest blog for the same i hope you found the video helpful if you have read so far please give the video a big thumbs up drop your queries suggestions and feedback in the comments section below i also have some other cool playlists at my channel go check them out the link is available in the description box below Join my Telegram channel and Discord server to stay connected with me and other fellow developers. Feel free to connect with me at Twitter and LinkedIn. I have attached all the necessary links in the bottom box. I will be back with more such videos. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.